don't just make the ground shake. They can cause a range of other hazards, including landslides, ground rupture, tsunamis, and liquefaction of wet sediments during ground shaking. Most Californians live within 30 miles of an active fault and may be at risk from one or more of these seismic hazards. Areas that may be subject to seismic hazards are mapped by the California Geological Survey so that cities, counties, and other users can adequately plan and prepare. The goal is to encourage land use practices that reduce and mitigate these seismic hazards. What are these maps? They're called Earthquake Zones of Required Investigation Maps, or ESRMs for short. They show areas where geologic data, like rock type, and proximity to earthquake sources, faults, indicate a potential for earthquake-triggered hazards. These zones are areas where site-specific investigations are required for certain types of new and existing developments. The maps come in two flavors earthquake fault zones that look for places where active faults have previously broken the surface of the earth, and seismic hazard zones that look for locations that could experience earthquake-induced liquefaction and landslides. How did these maps come about? They're the result of lessons learned from previous earthquakes. The deadly magnitude 6.6 .6 San Fernando earthquake of 1971 caused 64 deaths, 2,000 injuries, and more than $500 million in damages. Buildings that were constructed on top of the active fault suffered severe damage when the fault moved. The following year, the Alquist Criollo Earthquake Fault Zoning Act was passed to prevent buildings intended for human occupancy from being constructed on active faults. Statutes require that cities and counties use these zones as part of their construction permitting process. In 1989, the magnitude 6.9 Loma Prieta earthquake caused 63 deaths, almost 4,000 injuries, and more than $6 billion in damages. Much of this damage was caused by liquefaction and the amplification of shaking in soft soils. The following year, the Seismic Hazards Mapping Act was established to implement seismic hazard zone maps. It requires the California Geological Survey to map areas that may be vulnerable to earthquake faulting, liquefaction, landslides, and tsunamis. These maps are distributed to cities, counties, and state construction agencies to help identify where these threats exist and where higher building standards may be necessary for safe development. To say it another way, if CGS maps an area where there could be specific types of seismic hazards, additional investigations must be conducted within those zones prior to development. If a hazard is found at a specific site, that hazard must be mitigated for development to continue. These maps are not intended to prevent construction of new housing, commercial, industrial, or other development projects. Instead, they provide authoritative, science-based information that enables risk-informed planning and seismically resilient development. Seismic hazards are part of life in California. Fortunately, once these hazards are identified and mapped, they can be mitigated by site-specific geologic investigations and engineering approaches protecting lives and property.